I created a guide for every single druid build that's worth playing in Season 6 Vessel of Hatred. And if you're somebody that wants to play Spiritborn, I've got a bunch of builds for that as well. I'm going to go through this list and we'll break down all of the builds and where they're ranked. I'll also give you some cliff notes of each build so you know what to pick. But first off, if you guys like my content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be live on Twitch every single day for Vessel of Hatred, so make sure you stop by the stream. I'm just getting back to streaming, so I don't have a lot of viewers, and I could probably answer every single question you have. So first up, we've got Wind Shard. This is the Wind Shear build that was strong in Season 4. Now this one almost didn't even make it to the list, but technically, if you like this type of playstyle, the build is functional and can work in the endgame. And here's what it looks like in action. Now this one is the worst of the bunch, but we have 10 more builds to go before we get to the best one. Wind Shard focuses on applying poison damage to enemies, and if you already know what Wind Shard is all about, the one benefit this season that it didn't have before is the Spiritborn's Vortex, which is going to pull enemies together and allow you to apply your poison more easily. Next up, we've got Tornado. Tornado was a top druid build for multiple seasons, but it hasn't been shining for a while. But with the recent 50% buff to Werewolf, it's actually in line to do fairly decent. And here's some Tornado gameplay to give you an idea of how it works. By the way, you can find a link to all of these builds underneath the video, and I put all of them in my Discord, so make sure you join. People in the Discord get to see the builds early, so it's a nice benefit of being there. Next up, we've got the new skill, Stone Burst. This skill was a little bit lackluster in the PTR, but they did increase the damage by 50%, and we didn't have access to the unique totem, so this should be fairly decent. My gameplay footage for this build is on my laptop, but basically it's a big earth circle. Next up is Stormclaw. Now I actually put out a full video for this one already, so if you're interested in that, you can go and check it out. But this one got some big buffs, and it's already a fan favorite because of the ease of play and the melee bruiser playstyle. And it might be a little bit hard to see, but here's some gameplay from the last video I put out. And it might be a little bit hard to see, but here's some gameplay from the last video I put out. Next up on the list, we've got Pulverize. Pulverize has always been a good choice for leveling, and in general, it's never been a bad build, but it also usually isn't a very good build. But it did get some nice buffs, and since it already did reasonably well, this is in a pretty good spot. If you're one of the three people that doesn't know what Pulverize is, you're basically a werebear and you're slamming the ground with earth damage. Rounding out the bottom half of this list, we've got Lightning Turret aka Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm is another build that's traditionally been pretty good, but with the 50% werewolf buff, this is in a pretty good spot. And here's some gameplay for Lightning Storm. All right, now we're down to the top five. So in fifth place, we've got Shred. Shred got multiple big buffs, and it's finally in a spot that's good. Now, regardless of where this falls in terms of DPS compared to the other builds, Shred is an extremely smooth build, so the fact that it now has decent damage is gonna put it in a higher spot. This is the fastest build you can possibly play on Druid. And it not only got that 50% werewolf damage buff, but it also got a retaliation buff, a stormclaw aspect buff, and a blurred beast buff, even though I don't use blurred beast in this build. And here's some gameplay for Shred. In fourth place, we've got Wolf Pack. This is a companion build that focuses on wolves for damage. Or should I say werewolves, because we actually change our wolves into werewolves. I designed this build in a way that really maximizes the damage, and I think it pushes it above the typical companion build. Either way, I'm excited to see people play it in season six. In our number three spot, we've got Hurricane. Now, if you've never tried Hurricane, Hurricane is a little bit of a clunky build. It takes a little bit of a setup because you have to prep in order to get a lot of damage that goes for the entire duration of the skill cast. And I actually added another element of that this season with Rune Words. Assuming everything functions as it's intended, I think this might actually be in a really, really powerful spot. In the number two spot, we've got Boulder Bear. Now, Boulder was really strong last season, and I was doing billions of damage. But this season, we managed to make it even stronger, and we got some added utility in the form of our ultimate being Petrify. So we'll have to manage our spirit, but that shouldn't be that big of a deal. And those pesky suppressor mobs that mess with Boulder will no longer be a problem because we can stun them with our ultimate. And here's some gameplay for Boulder. Finally, in first place for Druid, we've got the Landslide build. This is a pure Landslide build, not Landstorm. Landstorm was nerfed and is no longer viable. Now, if the build you're looking for isn't in this list, you're probably not trying to play Druid. And if that's the case, don't worry about it because I have a bunch of Spiritborn builds for you as well. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and join the Discord under the video. But on that note, I'll see you guys in my next video. Daddy Druid out. Ha, 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 ha.